When a reader comes across an unfamiliar word, it's important that they know techniques to understanding the word's definition. One way to determine a word's definition is by looking at the prefix and suffix of the word. Although there are many words in the English language, many of those words share a common prefix or suffix. So by understanding the meaning of that prefix or suffix, the reader can then determine the likely meaning of the word. So one way to determine word meaning is structural analysis, and that's by looking at the prefix, the root, and the suffix all of a word. So take the word unacceptable, for example. Here you have the root word, except, that's, that, because that can be a word in itself. And then here you have the prefix, un, and the suffix, able. The prefix is always going to come before the root word, and the suffix is always going to come after the root word. Now, notice I said the root word is the word that can stand alone. I understand that able can also stand alone and is a word, but in this case, it's a suffix. So if you saw un or able written by themselves, you would see it written like this. That's because the dash represents the word. So here, since un is a prefix, the word comes after the prefix. And here with able, the word becomes, comes before able because able is the suffix. So say you didn't understand what unacceptable meant. Well, you could look at able, and you know that means able pretty much. And so you know acceptable must mean able to accept. Well, un, you know, means not so from words like unprofessional because unprofessional means not professional. It means the opposite of. So you know that un means not acceptable. It's something that's not able to be accepted. So thereby using the prefix and the suffix of the word and knowing the meanings of those, the reader can determine the meaning of the word unacceptable. Now some words like backward don't have both a prefix and a suffix. They just have a suffix. So back is this, um, the root word, and word is the suffix. So say you didn't know what, what backward meant, but you knew what the root word meant. You knew what back meant. But you remember the word toward, which also has the same suffix. And you know that means going somewhere. So you could um, get an idea that this suffix has something to do with direction. So since you see the root word back, you mean it goes, you know it means going back to. And so that's another example of how to use the prefix or the suffix to determine the meaning of the word. And some words just have a prefix. Uh, this word, for example, has a prefix and a suffix, but no root word. Here, bio is a prefix, and ology is also a suffix. And um, they share that O. And so you could look at this and think, okay, I don't know what this means, but I know I've seen the word bio before and the word biography. Well, that's a book about someone's life. So bio must mean life. And then what does ology mean? Well, I've heard of archaeology, and so that must mean um, the study of something because you're studying something. So ology means the study of. So by knowing the prefix and the suffix and what they mean of this word, you can uh, conclude that this word most likely means the study of life. So it's important to understand common prefixes and suffixes so that you can um, determine the meaning of an unfamiliar word. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.